Yeah, so, you know, if you can um, loot businesses, burn down buildings, engage in protest, um, you can also go to a Christmas party. The briefing room, a voice was heard to say, you crushed it, Kaylee, it was her husband. He'd been there the entire time in the cramped space, by the way, not wearing a mask, even though a New York Times photographer pointed out he was breaking the rules, which were set up because in the real world, Kaylee McEnany and several members of the press have caught the coronavirus. But hey, look, mass social distancing, it's also real world, so public healthy, so best practices. Who needs that? <laughs> Law and order. The president seems to think that dominating black people, dominating peaceful protesters is law and order. It's not. He calls them thugs? Who is the thug here? This must be the CIA's way of keeping them honest. Yesterday, after Kaylee McKinney nuked the Biden press corps for their partisan double standards in adherence to the science regarding coronavirus, the media, acting as Democrat Party PR, of course had to hit back, and in doing so, fell flat on their face. <laughs> I'm going to show you a couple examples of CNN spreading misinformation yesterday, but first a quick capitalism break for the only collagen that I trust and use. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. As an added bonus, Ageless Multi Collagen is non-GMO and there's zero artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, sweeteners, gluten, or antibiotics. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the link in the video description box below. The briefing room, a voice was heard to say, you crushed it, Kaylee, it was her husband. He'd been there the entire time in the cramped space by the way, not wearing a mask, even though a New York Times photographer pointed out he was breaking the rules, which were set up because in the real world, Kaylee McEnany and several members of the press have caught the coronavirus. Really? Who cares? This is newsworthy? You all censored the Biden family corruption stories, but this is newsworthy? Well, here are some facts that were completely missing from this sham of a report. For one, both Kaylee and her husband have already had the coronavirus and recovered quickly, like the vast majority of people who get it. They're immune, and if the data is correct, that immunity could last years. Doo -doo. On a side note, I love how the media is treating contracting the coronavirus as if it's AIDS or something. Like they're trying to attach a stigma to what is essentially getting a really bad flu. Second, it wasn't Kaylee's husband who said that. I noticed that Cooper showed some footage of her husband, but not any footage of him saying what Cooper claimed he said. Seems like there would have been some video of that. If Cooper had done even the laziest bit of digging on this, he would have found that the pool report of the press conference specifically pointed out that it was another reporter who shouted it out to Kaylee. And in case you didn't know, a pool report is essentially just a status report on what occurred during a meeting with the president or a press conference. So yeah, not a huge deal, but it's just a great example of how CNN gets away every day with little lies that end up fueling their narrative against their opposition. Next, we have another CNN hack who hilariously tries to land a gotcha on Fox News's Brett Baer, probably one of the most respected actual journalists in the profession. CNN's media propagandist, Oliver Darcy, whose job it is to literally attack and discredit opposition to the Democrat Party and their state media complex. That's all he does. He's not interested in anything Democrats say or do, only the Republicans. He tweeted out a 100 second video of a seven minute segment where Brett Baer fact checked President Trump's 45 minute speech from yesterday saying, quote, their election of duty from Brett Baer, Fox News's chief political anchor who just aired multiple clips of Trump's 44-minute voter fraud video without issuing any sort of fact check on the nonsensical and wild claims Trump alleged. So I want you to focus on Darcy's accusation there that there was no fact check on Trump's video. And this is just so freaking laughable, coming from a guy who exclusively targets the Democrats' political opposition. Brett Baer responds, Sorry you missed the beginning of the show, Oliver, and the panel segment, but thanks for the tweet. But Darcy, not knowing when he's beaten, comes back back and actually acknowledges that Brett Bear did in fact fact check Trump's video, but then erroneously claims that he somehow removed context, which ironically is exactly what Darcy did by providing only a 100 second clip of the segment. It's great that Kristen fact checked at the very start of your show. You then played a bunch of clips later and didn't provide any of that necessary context. Here we see the typical leftist tactic of rationalizing their BS by moving goalposts and deflecting with the excuses like context, which doesn't even make any sense. 
What context is he missing? He doesn't even mention it because he's full of it. And no added context would change the fact that Trump's video was fact-checked on Brett Baer's segment. That's all for this one. Please hit that like button and share if you have some extra time. If you want to support this video, you can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.